In this quick start guide, I'm gonna show you how to get the most out of your wizard website in just a couple minutes. So let me explain the most important next steps after signing up. First, fill out your author box here in the top right. You can add a profile picture, change your display name, add an about, and connect your social media accounts. All of your author info will be featured here in the footer as you can see, and this will be part of every page. You'll also see your social media icons being added to your top menu. Now let's try making your first blog post. Click new blog post underneath next steps on your dashboard. Add a title. Next, add a featured image by clicking here. You can use our royalty-free image library and search up millions of royalty-free pictures that you can use for your blog posts and your content. Then you can use our text editor below where you can insert images just like the featured image. You can also upload your own images from your computer by clicking here. You can also add in a YouTube video. Now, if you want to do more advanced SEO, you can go to the SEO section below and manually edit your meta title, meta description, and also the URL. When you're ready to publish, simply add one category to your post by typing it in and clicking add. When you're done, you can either save as draft or click publish so that your post is live on your website. So after clicking publish, you can view the post immediately. As you can see, this is our post. It has also been added to our homepage, as you can see here. If you don't want a post to be live on your website, you can simply click this toggle and it will go back to drafts. Now, if you ever want to see a list of all your previous posts, go to the blog tab on the sidebar. From here, you can edit a post, clone, share it, view it, or even delete it by clicking here. Now, let's say you want to make an about us or a services page. Simply go to new page on the next steps. So this page is going to look a lot like creating a blog post. You can view all of your pages underneath the edit site tab on the left. Let's say you want to add this page to your top menu. Simply go to edit site and click the menu in the middle. You will see here a list of the recent pages which you've created. You can simply click the one you want to add and then you can reorder it, then click confirm. Whenever editing your site, make sure you click save changes for those to take effect. Now let's view our website, which you can do from the sidebar. You can see services has been added to our top menu, and here we go. Now let me show you how to connect a custom domain. Simply go to my account in the bottom left, and then choose domain from the sub menu. Click custom domain here, and then you'll see instructions along with a step-by-step -step video on how to connect a custom domain in just minutes. Lastly, let me teach you how to create a second or third website. Go into my account bottom left, go into my websites, here you will see a list of your, all your current websites that you can switch between, but you can also click new site to create another website as easy as you did the first one. Last but not least, if you need help or support, go to the bottom right and you will see this blue chat icon. Make sure to click that and you can live chat with our team. If we are currently unavailable, it will ask for your email and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Please use this live chat feature to report any bugs, feature requests, feedback, or if you need help. Lastly, if you want to upgrade or downgrade your plan, go into my account bottom left and go into billing. Here you can see when your free trial is about to expire and then you can upgrade to one of the paid plans to retain your data and your websites so they don't get deleted. All right, so that wraps up our quick get started tutorial. If you want to see a complete tutorial that goes over every single feature on the wizard platform so you can become a master in no time, make sure to check out the complete beginner tutorial which goes over every single aspect of the wizard platform so you can get the most out of your website. In the next video, we'll explain how the wizard platform is able to rank higher and get more SEO traffic by having superior performance and the technology behind the platform, including how we were able to get near perfect Google Lighthouse scores and sub one second load times right out of the box. So you don't have to worry about any of the technical issues. Last but not least, make sure you follow us on Twitter at wizard underscore org so you can get the latest product updates. Thank you for watching this. See you in the next video.